Hi there, I'm back again, and today I'm going to do a brief video showing how to disassemble my Cuisinart Burr Coffee Grinder. This is the Cuisinart DBM-8. It's a very popular grinder. It is um, kind of like a bottom rung introductory model for Burr Coffee Grinders once you graduate up from the little propeller type of blade grinders. And um, there's plenty of reviews online as well as videos um, reviewing this product. So I basically just want to get into how to disassemble it because there, I'm finding there are a lot of people that, that have this that don't realize you can take it apart. And I, that's actually the fault of the, the little um, owner's manual that comes with this. It's basically like a, a little fold-out pamphlet. It's like a single page. And the cleaning instructions are very short, very vague. They don't tell you how to disassemble it. And all burr grinders, you should be able to disassemble to clean them. Or they'll bog down, get clogged, strip your gears, and they'll burn out uh, the motor within weeks or months or maybe a year if you're lucky um, if with never cleaning it. You really need to be able to get at them to clean it. So this is how you do it. It's super, super simple and very quick. And take the lid off so that doesn't go flying anywhere. This is the, if you don't own this grinder, this is the um, the adjustment guide here for the different fineness and coarseness of coffee grinds. And this is how you set it. There's a little line here. I'm not sure if you can see it because it's not very, it's not painted very light. But each little click is another grind setting. And the fine for espressos on this side, the coarsest setting for French press is on the other side over here. And we're going to take that all the way to the coarse end. And then we're going to continue to turn it counterclockwise. And then you don't hear the clicks anymore. And it just lifts off. So it actually unscrews from the base. It is a threaded tube here, the feed tube. Here is the upper burr right here. It is a flat plate style burr that's made of ceramic. And this is permanently fixed here. You don't want to try to remove it. You can just easily brush this off. Um, there is a little ledge just inside. It's about maybe half inch up from where this plate is um, is attached. And you want to get in there with a tiny brush to get that uh, clean in there because that little ledge will catch coffee, you know, because it's sitting like this and it, it'll just kind of get hung up there and cause a little bit of a, lo a log jam in there. I use a baby or toddler size toothbrush. That's perfect. It fits in there really well. It doesn't uh, doesn't get hooked or snagged or anything. And the brush, the bristles themselves are nice and soft. And they clean out this threading really well because this will get clogged with coffee as well. Especially if it's been weeks or months between cleanings, it, you'll take this apart and notice that it's, it's everywhere. So after you get in there, here is the lower burr. I'm going to use a flashlight because it's way down in there. It's very small. It's very dark. I hope you can see that. But there's the lower burr. That is also permanently fixed. You don't want to try to remove that. You can get in there with a brush and clean that out really, really well. If you have a, a heavy buildup you, or you grind dark, oily beans, um, and there's the brush is just kind of swishing it around or it's taking a long time to get that out of there, you can simply just sort of brush it to get everything loosened up, take it over to your kitchen sink, turn it upside down and just give it a few really good wraps and that will dislodge a lot. And then get back in there with your brush to kind of clean everything out. There's also a little opening at the bottom of this, it, the chute, that dispenses your ground coffee into your collection cup. And then once you get all that cleaned out, you'll see a lot of it will have come out through the chute. And you want to make sure you clean that out as well. And again, with a really small brush, or if you have very tiny um, vacuum attachments for, say, like vacuuming and cleaning computer or electronic equipment, this is perfect tools to use for this. And you can actually vacuum all that out instead of risking pushing it back in towards the motor. So that's how you clean this out. And it's very quick to reassemble. Once you have everything clean, you just put this back on and then rotate clockwise until it stops. And then you know it's on and you're ready for your next brew and it will grind just like it was brand new. So do this once a week or more often if you have a, a very oily bean that you're using. And I also um, put some minute rice through this uh, like once a month. 
on the on a medium to coarse setting and that collects all the residual oils from from collecting in there as well as the coffee grounds and then you just go through the other steps I showed you brushing it out so I hope this helps and thanks again for watching